Okay, so today I want to talk about your header, how to change your header, how to move things around, and how to customize your header as you want it to be. So the first thing we want to talk about is your header text color. Obviously, you can change that to any color you have in your color palettes. Uh, if you want to have a background on your header, you can do that as well. So let's say we want to do a background of white just for or a tan just for this training purpose. So you can leave that there. Position can be normal or overlay, which means it will either sit above or on top of um, the hero image on the top. So it changes to normal. Sticky header uh, means that it will move. Let me hit save and show you an example. It means that it will move with you as, as you scroll down. Convert. There are also solutions. Sorry. Um, so what that will do is it will um, see how it's moving down um, as you go. So it will remain on top no matter where you are on the page. Um, you can, so then we have all these different options to add content. And let me go over all the content options for you. You have the call to action, You have which is a button. You have a drop down menu, which is what I have up here right now. You have the hello bar, which is the bar that goes above like this. You have the option for, you know what, I'm just going to put them all in here. <laughs> so you can see them all. A call to action button. You can add a user menu, which is already on there. That's what this logo is. Um, you can add your social icons. So you can really load up your menu bar to be a pretty amazing space, depending on what you're wanting it to look like. So, um, and then if you want to move these around, shift them into different areas, you can do that here. Okay. So let's say for mine, I want my social icons uh, right there. I want my call to action. Let's Say we want our call to action in the front of the drop down menu wherever you want it um you can like i said move things anywhere you want so i'm going to delete some of these just so i can talk more about the menu menu bar and kind of what we're going to do with that so let's say you don't have any courses yet and you don't need a user login button or anything like that let's just pretend like we're working with essentially the the hello amazing stuff happening bar, the hello bar, um, and a drop down menu versus a regular menu. So let's look at these two next to each other. So this is obviously scrunched up because I have two on here. Um, but let's say this would kind of bypass this or let's say for instance you have two different ideal uh client avatars this is where i see this most often in needing a drop down you can have a drop down that will take you to one landing page or let's say like for us for clients um versus students so if you're looking for like a resources drop down you could have a resources drop down that's talking about freebies uh courses all the things that are considered resources that you offer in your business. The other one can be for your students. So maybe your students need like templates or workbooks or to log into their course. So you can have different drop down menus and you can change the name of those menus to, let's say, student. Okay. So you can change the name to be whatever you want. And then when they click it, it's going to still have the same menu as you would have here. Right. Or you can change out the menus as you're editing your link list. Um, you can change out the menus here and you can create the menu that you want for that specific drop down to have it different than this one. So I'm going to delete this initial one here. So if you're just looking to have a very simple drop down menu, kind of a mod design, you can just say menu and have that located there. So it's logo, menu, and it's awesome. And down here on the right-hand side, remember, always check your mobile. This is what it's going to look like for you on mobile. You will have this uh, hamburger menu here, tablet, 
tablet and desktop. All right, so that's kind of how you rearrange your header, what's located up there, what you can do in this amazing section that I feel is so underutilized sometimes. Uh, so remember, when you log in, you go to design, it's up here in the header section. Uh, you can also edit the desktop layout, the mobile layout. Not really care about those being edited. Okay, have a great day.